Is a. B. <laughs> is a B better than an A? Of course. <laughs> an A doesn't exist. I like create honey. So what, what's an A? <laughs> so here's how to create a cylinder. Circle. Another circle. Connect. And then you will become more artistic as it goes. But yours looks way better than mine. Try to create even circles. Mine looks like Don't dot your hand, just go with the flow. Okay. Now remember we talked about the back for perspective. Some people leave it like this. Mine looks like a mushroom. Like blood. Look There's like blood on my paper. <laughs> it looks like mushroom. It looks like a mushroom. Take care of that. Mine and then like some people go here. Whoa. It looks like a What we also need is the height. Nice. Let's put the height in, let's put 10 there. And uh, we need a radius. What would you like the radius to be? Uh, I'd like it to be five. Five million. Five? No, it's too easy. Let's do three. Three works. Here. Okay. So radius is three. It's not called the iPhone. It's called the B phone. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, <laughs> definitely. All right, let's do it. Lateral area, then surface area. Here's my question. Here's my question. With your hands, can you show me the shape? of what the lateral face is, this thing, is with your hands. Show me, yes, interesting. So it's not this, this is the shape of the base. What? It's not a circle. The bases are circles. What would it be like? The base are circles. Unravel, <laughs> unravel a Coke can. Or I'm doing product placement now. Unravel a typical can of carbonated beverage. <laughs> Here is a cylinder, correct? This is a cylinder, and mind you, base is here and here, okay? Now, if I wanted the area, if I wanted to paint this whole lateral face, and I opened it, <gasps> what shape is that? A rectangle. Oh my god. It's a rectangle, oh interesting, right? I'm telling you right now, this is very challenging for a lot of people to see. That a really cylinder awesome. opened up is a rectangle. So basically, I rectangles those, like, are like the mid focal point for most shapes. Is what you're I, I, I don't know, I'm, I don't know about the word most, but I hear what you're saying, that rectangles so most shapes like they, they come of, from rectangles. A lot of prisms have rectangular faces because when you open it up, it's like you create this lengthy side yeah, yeah. rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. Hexagon too. Create a hexagonal prism. Rectangle open it up. Six yeah. rectangles around the side. Yo. So let's let's unravel this rectangle and draw it here. There it is. Now, how do you get the area of this rectangle? Okay. You're okay. good. Okay. How do you get the area of this rectangle? Base times height. Base times height, sure. Well, why don't we do length and width makes it easier for some people? Because this is the height of the entire thing. All right. Length so do you know anything? Like if you unravel this, do you know any of these so far? Yes. We what do you know? The, we know the width. Yeah, the width is sort of like the height, so maybe I, I should have taken yours. What's the width? Ten. Ten, it is. It is. Base times height. Why don't we do base times height? Sure. With base times height. So we have the ten, you unravel. Now this. Go back to the paper. Three. That's a good guess. It involves three. I'm it involves thinking, three. Can't, can't, say it. Say it. can't be three. Interesting. Say that again. Say that again. Right, sorry, I add two pi r. Why? Because the radius has to be two pi <laughs> times three. So look, do you agree? Here, let's demonstrate it again. Here is our cylinder. Here is our rectangle. This is the height of the rectangle. Thus, it's the height of the cylinder. So far, so good? Six pi. So far, so Now we need this. We need this base. This base is the what of the circle? The base? The center. Oh, the oh. radius, the diameter, the... Don't call it out if you don't know. It's okay. I it's okay it was, to take no, a second to think. Was. The height. The apothem. Thank you for waiting. People are thinking. I'm glad. I'm actually going to ask you in maybe 30 seconds. Do you agree that we want this length here? We want this length. Mm -hmm. If we want this length, once you wrap, roll it up, it is some measurement the height, of circumference. the circle. Is that what the you're going to say? I'm going to say circumference. You're going to say circumference. Correct. Oh. Very good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's the circumference of the circle. It's the thing all the way around. Now, here's the thing. Total, huge, huge confession on my part. Here's the confession. Uh -oh. The books and everywhere across the country, they do lateral area equals, hold the, hold the thought. What's the formula for circumference? 2 pi r. 2 pi r. 2 pi r times the height of the thing, right? They say 2 pi r h. They say 2 pi r h because this is the base and this is the height.
Yeah. Let's go ahead and get 2 pi r. What is 2 pi r in this case? It is 6 pi. 6 pi. 6, six pi, very good. They have 6 pi. So that's 6 pi times 10. And uh, what is this? 60 pi. Now look, what they do in, other, in the books and everything, they just give you this. They just give you this, and they don't explain anything about it. And I think that's nonsense. I think that's personally it's nonsense, because it doesn't make any sense when you just look at it like, oh, oh, that's how I do it. Here's the test, forgotten. And you forget about it for the rest of your life, and you don't even care. But the idea is that if you can unravel a shape and see it as a rectangle, and you remember base times height, then you know that the base is the circumference of the rectangle. Or circumference of the circle. Am I, am I, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I didn't start, I clearly, I could have turned on the camera and be like, hey you guys, this is the formula for lateral area of a, of a cylinder. This is the lateral area. And you plug and plug, plug, and then you don't know what it means. Any comments on that? I commend you. Do, you know, some people prefer the formula. I like Yeah, please. Um, if we do that, uh, like, I don't know, on the SAT or something, is it going to ask us to leave it in terms of pi, or yeah. is it going to ask us to simplify it? Generally, leave it in terms of pi. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 188 math. So yeah, so that's the lateral area of the cylinder right here. We'll put it down. 60 pi. Most of the work is done. Now we need surface area. Remind me the formula for surface area, and we're done. SA equals, equals what plus what? LA plus 2. What does that mean in your own words? Lateral area. The lateral area. Did we already calculate that? Yes. We yes. did. Plus two what? Bases. Two what of the bases? Two times. Two, two, two times what of the bases? The area. The what area of oh, the base. Okay. I know that you meant that. Yeah. yeah. Two times the area of the bases. Notice capital B. Yeah. Capital B. All right. Lateral area. We know. Put it down. Sixty pi. Okay. I'm all the names they could have named it. Why did they name it pi? Why not? That's uh, Google worthy. Were they eating a piece of pie when he was trying to do some? I don't think pie existed when they created. It's Latin. Pie. Yeah. I'm okay. sure it's Latin. Oh, it's a Greek, I believe. It's not. And Greek. isn't it pi? Not believe maybe. Maybe it actually. Believe it's a Greek. Maybe symbol. we all have been saying the wrong. It's a Greek it's P. <laughs> pi basically is three point one four. Three point one four is the number of times the diameter will wrap around the circle. In case you're wondering, if I take this diameter six. The diameter, let's directly draw this base so we can look at it. The number of times this six will wrap around the circle is, let's do it in green. As I erase the board, whatever, let's do it. One, two, three, and a little, 0.14. That's what pi is. The number of times the diameter wraps around the circle. Mm. That's what it means, all right, in case you're wondering. What's the area of this circle? Go ahead. 9 pi. How'd you get it? Uh, because the radius is 3, and to get the area of a circle, you need to do pi r squared. Let's put it down. Area of the circle, pi r squared equals pi. 3 squared equals 9 pi. Putting it down here, 9 pi. And here? 9 pi. 9 pi, very nice. And this is your friend. Remember your friend? Mm -hmm. What's the total area of the two bases? 18 pi. 18 pi is correct. Put it in green still. And now the total surface area. So we got 78 pi. Questions, comments, concerns, questions. Qua, qua, my boy. Questions. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, Matt. We should invite him. Yeah, Matt. Is that a question? Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> That's my answer. Anything? You all right with that? Yeah. Lateral area plus two times the basis. Okay, good job. Give yourselves a hand. You want to do it? You want to do it? Come on. Maybe uh, give them some sound bites or something. Oh, erase it. Yeah, go. Yeah, the sound is good. Go ahead. You can talk. Or don't talk. That's it, really. Just here. Face the camera so we can see the mask. Yeah. One second. See the mask. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god! It's not possible! Evolution. But now he can't see what he's doing. Oh, no, it's, it's funny. <laughs> it's kind of oh, funny. Oh man! That is <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Emergency bag, do it. Do it. Come on, bell pepper. Tissue box. <laughs> Say it with your chest! <laughs> Say it with your chest! No, don't erase the top. That's good. You're good, you're good. Just not the surface area thing. That was awesome. Alright, give them a flap of your wings, everyone. Bye-bye! <laughs>